This is another edition of the Addict's Devotion for November the 20th, and I entitled it Surrendering of Our Will. In my experience dealing with addiction, I have learned this one important point of overcoming the struggle. Many think it is due to exercising our willpower enabling us to overcome addiction. They are miserably wrong. It is the power of our will which has gotten us into this trouble and cannot get us out. Certainly, God has given us one characteristic, the ability to have a will of our own to choose what we will do and whom we will serve. This is something given us and cannot be taken back. Not even God himself can nor will do this. Our common enemy seeks to control it because he, too, is unable to take it from you. Remember this key phrase, we must be willing to be made willing. For herein lies the answer to overcome not only addiction, but all of our issues of life. In order for us to rise above our problems, we must turn our will over into the hands of God. We must surrender our ownership and privileges. We must do this and not be willing to ever choose to take it back. It must be a total surrender and allow God to do for us what none other is able. Toward the end of my addictive years, I came to acknowledge God. Unless God stopped it, there would be no stopping on my part, no matter how much I wanted or tried. It was not in me to stop, and I had to rely on God and His timing to do it for me. Deciding to let go of what has given, been given to us will never be an easy task to accomplish. We have to begin to see ourselves for what we are, dirt. Dirt has no value in itself, but can be used as a foundation in which to grow, whether plant life or magnificent buildings. And how much more can that dirt we are to be used to grow into something of inestimable value if we allow God to have his will in us? The closing thought is written by my goddaughter Vicki, and she writes, Wash and clean me, Lord, from the inside out. Leaving my life in your hands is no longer a doubt. Now go and have yourself a profitable and fulfilling day.